We're back. All right. Can this run make it all the way? We get to start with a question mark. Archery is an art. Five gold to get an item. Do I have five gold? Yeah. I don't want archery. What am I doing? Legendary Hawkeye. Like true, like an arrow. Too bad I don't want this. Okay, now we've got some big damage enemies, or big HP. Luckily, I do get lots of free block. And I can still kill one of these, so I don't need to worry about defending. Easy kill. Technically, I would do more damage if I save this until next turn. Kind of. I would need to have four space for mana plus the two space for this one. But I could save some of the mana for this turn. That's like, I should have used this book before casting those. But that's only if I'm trying to min-max like crazy, which I'm not currently doing. Don't have enough HP. Like, not even close. Level up. Whatever spaces I get, that space lets me tuck it away further. items. That looks like a good wand. Metallic wand. Item is conductive. On you steals one damage. For each connected mana stone, this gets plus one damage. Eight mana stones. Too bad this one already does big damage. This does AoE damage. But it costs two to use it. This would be better than this if I didn't get that forge upgrade. AoE is interesting. But it costs twice as much. Not interesting. I don't care about this shield. Could get more spikes. Could get another helmet. Why would I do that? think I have to worry about clicking that book to get up my damage because I already kill all these could take a key for what there's nothing to use a key on oops I meant to keep looking at whatever there was but who cares I do have some gold not much but a little Get items. Another of these is always nice. If I ring, what is this? Can be used one time each turn, deals two damage on kill, adds great luck. Doubt I'm gonna get it, but it says great luck. Speedy leap, that's one energy. 
each turn. What? One combat ends gets destroyed. <laughs> this is... Fine. We're gonna get tons of luck for like one turn. I could sell you stuff. If you had something worth buying. Ethereal Staff. This item's conductive. Creates ethereal shiv in a space that is in this row. I'm sure there's a good build for that. I doubt this is it. At one week to sell, weapons in this row get plus one week for this combat. That would be very good, actually. It does take one of my energy to do it. But I could add so much weak to the enemies. I think that's better than this damage for sure. Legendary Hawkeye. It's always Hawkeye. I don't think the spikes are doing anything for me. In this row. So. Cannot afford. Could afford it. In order to afford it, I would have to sell you both of these. Gold went away, so now I have more space. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, this one's interesting. It's more for single target, I think. You're gaining a lot of defense, but these two are doing more damage. I think they all die. Right, I should be trying to kill with this. Can be used one time each turn. Right now I'm blocking all of their damage. Really hard to get a kill with this. And it's not a priority to me. Hey, we got a kill. Good job. Great luck. Great luck didn't do a whole lot for me. Don't see a treasure chest, but maybe I will. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. Care to do a trade? Get a rarer item of the same type. You can have this. Assassin's Dagger. On kill, this item gets plus one damage to enemy permanently. It starts out only doing three damage. The problem is this costs two energy to use. If you get this super early, it seems really good. But it starts out weak, and it needs a lot of kills. And I already have things that work. But if I didn't have things that work, I should test to make sure this does what I think. So I did give weak to self, which actually reduces the damage it does for this turn by a lot. So I would want to do that at the end of the turn. And I wouldn't want to do it on a poison enemy, but that was just me testing things. Making sure it works as expected, which I did expect. I could heal every time I attack. It 
needs to be adjacent, not diagonal. Is this conductive? Does not say it's conductive. I don't care enough. That could be helpful, though. Maybe I should have done that. Huh. If I see another, I will think about that. Archer's Wand creates ethereal arrow in a space is in this column. Don't know what that means enough. I'm very temp er, very curious, but I don't have the gold and I don't have a bow to make use of it. Yeah, the only thing that scares me, the final boss might be really slow because I can't just hit it a million times, but I have enough defense that it doesn't really matter. And I can hit the things it summons. And anything it summons, I'll have so many of these things built up. That I'm just ready to machine gun it down. What is this one? It has five rage to sell. That's actually something I would want going into the boss. Adjacent cleavers get used. King cleaver. That would be the cleaver that I would want. I just don't need any of this. Um, go fight. I'm tempted to just go straight for the boss. <clears throat> like, stop getting XP. There's only one more level up anyways. These are going to be a little bit tough. I have a lot of shield. I care about this curse. And I can kill at least two of them. kill that one. Oh, never mind. I easily can kill that one. Underestimate my mana reserves. So now, four spaces. That's a lot of space to give up for this. Like, I could get foods in there. Like, I could do this. Ah, let's do it. Question marks can be really good in this game. One thing I'm discovering. Like, what if there's another plus five damage to weapon? Oh, you can just spam click it. That's good to know. When a wand kills an enemy, add four mana to connected mana stones. Yes. It does disable this. Could just get rid of the gold. We'll see. That's two energy removes five HP. Let's go. Take a rare item for a curse. Don't think so. Like, that would be really good if I was desperate for a rare item. Or if it was early on, maybe? I don't know. I don't have a ton of energy this time. So I don't think I get to kill that back one. But I do get to use my shield. And I could use items to do it. Oh. Yeah. 
I'm good. I need to make a little bit of room. Maybe I could have killed last turn. This seems so good. Like, that's what I want to bring to the boss fight. Removing the boss's effects would be nice, too. I guess the rage is going to wear off anyways, but still. This is my forge. Ah, the shield. Could do spikes. No, I got rid of my spike stuff. So that shield now is really good. And so is my wand. Why did I think this was forged twice? That's eh, still really good. Alright, this is it. The Grand Master. I have not seen the Grand Master. So this is new. 850 HP. <sighs> it doesn't tell me anything about what it does, except that it's summoning and it's doing 22 damage. I don't need the heal, but I want the rage. I could apply a ton of weak to this thing. For the rest of combat, it lowers my damage by a lot, but wow, that feels good. Tempted to just do that like three times. That's one weak to enemy. Oh, no more uses this turn. But I can use it next turn. I think I'm going to save it. Um, yeah. You add burn to me. Burn actually scares me a lot. I can get enough shield to block it, but it's just going to keep piling up on me, and I don't have ways to clear it. And you probably don't actually do damage, so this isn't useful. Plus, I'm going to get weak stacked up regardless. Alright, so now I have two spots empty. I need two more. Also, I need to get rid of this. That was a huge mistake bringing this gold into this. When I kill an enemy, I get plus four mana. So I have to make sure that I have room for that mana. That feels like enough space. So now, I mean, the nice thing is I'll get to use the block to help with the fire, with the burn. You're going to summon next, I bet. No, you attack. Okay. Attacking does not scare me at all. The burn, a little bit. Okay, I have four spaces open. Yeah, the biggest mistake I made was putting this next to this. Could use three energy to reorganize. Full turn. Could also go all in on this attack at some point. The damage is so low. Summoning again. Oh, I have too many of them open. That's okay. I might just be able to blow it up right now. Pretty close. I don't think I can yet. Okay, 
Okay, so the fire does scare me, though. Maybe I should have killed that first one. I definitely should have. Because then I would have got four more mana. I still had one energy. I could have blocked and I needed to. This does 23. I actually don't have that much energy. Wow, I almost screwed up. Get items. There we go. So, two wins in a row. One with magic, one with a weapon. Feels good. This is just better than this. And this is also very good. I would just remove this at this point. All shield effects can be supplied. Use adjacent weapons. Minus one damage for the rest of combat. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. All weapons get this supplied. When an adjacent or diagonal armor or shield is present, this gets disabled. All weapons get six damage. That's very doable. But this takes up two spaces. Adjacent or diagonal armor or shield. So yeah, it just couldn't be next to this, this, or these. That could be moved to do that very easily. This doesn't have to be right here. It could be down in the corner. But this is amazing. So that would be it. Question mark. Continue and endless or new game. To start. Decide to start a new one. All right. So next time, I really have to get the archer going. That's the plan. All right. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.